and eventually it will be a Murphy bed when... Hey y'all, it's Bo and Kelly Brotherton with Better Together Life and the Shed Do House Facebook group. We are going to be showing you today... The shed! The studio! The shed to studio! It's been a long time. You're going to want to see it. I got a mini tour for you today. We have not shown you anything like tourish of this studio for a while. So we're going to show you kind of what we have adapted from our original plan and then tell you some of the things why we're still in limbo of yeah. not Do you doing have your this. coffee? Are you ready? It's going to be fun. On our last episode of Shed to Studio Updates, and then this is where you would put like a little fade back. Holy crap, you did it. This is awesome. We couldn't have done this. Oh, no way. <laughs> there's, it, there's absolutely. Andrew, it's awesome. Look at that. We're going to have this shower done before. <laughs> this oh, totally. It looks so great with the walls and everything. It's really cool. And I have a bookshelf here. This is going to be good. Anytime you're building, you have to consider costs. But especially right now, if you are building a home, if you are building an add-on, whatever that looks like, you've got to consider cost and availability. And we've decided not to rush anything because both of those are totally in limbo right now in the market. But I'll show you what we're going to do. Bo's whole life, he's like wanted this standing desk. We had a desk on cinder blocks in our last house. So this is like way cool. Now there's a chance that I could get one of these desks as well. But... I'm not that bougie and I'm honestly just lazy and don't want to stand up while I work. So I sit down at this desk, which is a table, not a desk. The long-term plan for this is to have three chests of drawers. One that's larger in the middle, like a cabinet, another chest of drawers here where I would sit, and then a chest of drawers here. I don't know what we'll do with the standing desk, but the long-term plan is have one large working space because a lot of times it does look like this. like. We're in the middle of a project and we'll have supplies here or there's oils that I'm packing up to send to people or we just have a lot of moving parts and one big working space is a really good idea for us. So customizing your workspace to make sense to you is all your own freedom. You could Pinterest board, but that overwhelms me. So if you get so much information and it paralyzes you from making decisions, I strongly suggest checking out and just getting pen and paper and designing yourself, which is what we did here. But we went to Ikea for this like great idea. Like we want to use these different parts to custom create something for ourselves. And then Ikea was like, Hey, all the things you want are not available. I'm going to pop in also the deal with this. Cause you said, mm, you don't know what we're going to do. I have the full plan of what I want to do with this desk. I want to do a similar thing. If you're follow, Modern builds on YouTube. Awesome thing with this uh, bus conversion to where it's exposed plywood oh, yeah. edge. And so what I want to do is, and then he has vinyl top. It's going to look killer. We're going to do a different color vinyl top. He has like this orange. We're going to do like a dark navy, I think. Mm -hmm. It's going to look really cool. The only thing, and then I'm actually going to have it, I'm going to replace the top of this standing mm -hmm. desk. And so it'll look... So it'll split and you'll still be able to stand. Exactly. Make so much but the thing is... I don't want to pay three times the, yeah. the the cost for plywood. It's just crazy. The, well, it went up, and it, then we it's starting to trickle down. A little so we're bit. It's gonna wait until it's yeah. More it's, it's probably never gonna go back down to what it was previously. But do you want to tell them about the kitchen? Yeah, I think because IKEA is the theme of my life. IKEA just works for me, but IKEA is gonna need to work for this. So. <laughs> Somehow we became our own Costco and like if we want to go shopping we come to the studio first I don't think we did it on purpose, but we kind of did but mostly it's out of necessity It's really far to get to Costco or an Azure standard drop So we just kind of stock up and then shop here until we go. Hey, we're that, preppers It's totally prepper. It's totally good. Like if anyone needs any pasta sauce, I've got you covered the countertops that are going to go here, the sink that's going to go here, because currently we don't have a sink. And it's not a bad thing, but it's also not a good thing. So there'll be a countertop here with cabinets and drawers. 
And then this will just have like a tiny little L shape here with more storage underneath. And then wall shelves all through here. So not upper cabinets, just wall shelves. And this will be a lot of our storage for canned goods. I love that idea. We just need to have the ease of supply. I know, I know you're sitting there like a carpenter and you're like, you could just build that. Yes, we could. We could also just assemble a box that comes from Ikea and make our lives so much easier. So right now this is working until it doesn't work and hopefully Ikea will restock some of the supplies that we want for this space. But we moved the freezer in here because this was on our back porch. We actually not only upgraded the freezer but now we've doubled our freezer space so we got another large chest freezer that's on our back porch and this one is inside. For and the pigs! For all of the pork that's going to be coming, we may be getting half a cow from a neighbor in the future. And then we've got some garden harvest in the freezer as well. So it's great. Things are moving along. We're rearranging. Something's always happening and progressing. Just sometimes it feels frustrating because you're not quite there yet. So I just want to encourage you, if you're not quite where you want to be in your next step, just be patient and do the little things every day. So the kitchen and the desk, they're delayed because of lumber prices and like just availability. Like Ikea doesn't have the thing that I want in that fits this design. So that makes sense. That's why it's delayed. This space has a weird outlet here and that's because there will be a whole set of shelves on this wall. It's gonna just be like a built-in covering the wall and then these shelves will be like for charging and just other supplies, things that we need to store up. We may have cabinets toward the bottom and that way we can put extra bedding and things that we need to store in there that can kind of close up and be away. Because this is our office, but it's also our guest space. And it's great because you walk in here and it's wide open. It feels very creative. It's easy to build new programs or to put together emails or whatever it is that's fun you need to create in this space. But I don't want it to become overrun with all the stuff. So the shelves is just a Get off your tail and build a dang thing. No, it's because lumber prices are three times as expensive. Sure. I'm just saying. When the lumber also prices build the come thing. down. Okay. Show the bathroom. Let's look at the bathroom. So the bathroom is like three quarters of the way. I'd say the bathroom's like 85% done. We've got walls, toilet, totally functions. The door is a little bit spacey, but you can still see the shower. I love the tile. I love the tile. But we've got like some trim to put in here. We don't have lights yet, and that is all on me. That is just me needing to make a very adult decision in a world where I already make a lot of decisions and I don't want to, but I need to. So how many lights so, have we installed here in this studio? But we do have lots of space to put lights. It's just a big decision. It's a big decision. Okay, now we're brought to the podcast spot. This is very temporary, just a fold out. Uh, Walmart table. This is where we're doing it. I'm still trying to figure out how we use the space properly so that it's form for you. Like it's pretty. It's pretty looking and that it's functional because. Does job. It had, or it had just sure. rained. And so it was like, it was a cool weather moment. I'm pretty sure I hadn't even put pants on for the day. And you were like, come outside. Come outside now. Because you were thinking, these ducks have come and they're going to leave. You've got to see this adorable yeah. moment. So originally, of course, if you just flip over here, that's where the desk would be. We just need space to be able to video the podcast for y'all. Mm -hmm. So we're still trying to figure that out. All right. So the next thing we're talking about is this bed. This is where Kelly works. I work on the, <laughs> the standing desk. Kelly just cuddles up on this Well, awesome bed. and let's pause. The original plan is Murphy bed. And that's still part of the plan. Like, we're gonna do a Murphy bed here because in small living, every square inch matters. And this, you know, this is a really great option because we didn't have a bed in here. We didn't no. have anything in here. Well, because we knew that we needed, this was going to be a studio and we were also going to have people come, yeah. like family to stay. It's 95% yeah. studio of the time. But then we needed a bed in here as well. So it all this mattress, I'm going to tell you about the mattress and the brand here in a second. It all started with Everett getting old enough that his like little Ikea, everything's Ikea. Well, I would say everybody's like, what are you going to do with your kids as they get bigger? So 
anything that you would do in your normal house as they get bigger, you would just adjust. So Everett was like, mom, my little foam mattress from Ikea is just not cutting it. I need a new mattress. So we crowdsourced, went yep. on our social media and we're like, friends, tell us, you know, who's gotten a new mattress lately and what do you like about it? So consistently in DMs, in responses to that post were, you need to get a Nectar mattress. We love our Nectar mattress. Yeah. So we went ahead and got a twin mattress for Everett. And then we're like, all right, tell us what you really think about it. It was like three weeks. How, yeah. how often was he doing this? Well, I, yeah, I think it was about three weeks. I mean, it every was, night. Yeah. It, he kept on saying it was the bed yes. of his dream. <laughs> because on the box, it was like <laughs> sleep in the bed of your dreams. Yeah. And he would go upstairs every night and kind of from the top, he's, you know, he's got a flare. And he was like. I'm going to go sleep in the bed of my dreams. And he did. He'd wake up saying, I slept so great in the bed of my dreams. And we thought he was like a little bit dramatic yeah. about it. And then I think you were up there cleaning and cashed out on the bed in the middle of a nap one day. I, I don't know. I can't remember how it ended up happening. But one of us both, like we both slept on yeah. his twin, twin size mattress at some point. I don't know what how we did that. But we thought, yeah, it's a really good mattress. And so we knew that we had this mattress uh, this bed mm -hmm. thought here in the studio and we had a 12 year old mattress since whenever, mm -hmm. you know, when we got pregnant with yeah. Everett. So we reached out to Nectar and we told them what we're doing here in the mm -hmm. studio and the they main shed out the house. They channel. Like they yeah, were exactly. amazing. And so yes, we have partnered with Nectar mm -hmm. to be able to tell you how much we are a Nectar family. So they sent us this mattress and the bed frame and everything. Yeah. And then also, uh, they sent us a king size mattress for our room, for our bedroom. We, mm -hmm. we still have the same, uh, raised, elevated like elevated storage. bed frame, which actually that, that storage works. Mm -hmm. It still is very comfortable. It still works great. This bed frame is great too. And eventually we'll not have the bed frame cause we'll have the full mm -hmm. on Murphy bed right here. This has been our secret weapon cause we've had six months with this mattress in here and guests probably twice a month for the last mm -hmm. half a year and every time we're like how'd you sleep they're like that bed is amazing so we wouldn't blow smoke up your skirt we would just let you know that this bed is awesome and nectar has a promotion right now with um their when you order the bed i think it's like it, 400 it's about like three three ninety nine whatever that is the oh, sheets. Cool. so yeah, you get a sheet. sheet set for free with your bed and it's fantastic that's what we have um, every time someone comes and says, well, sheets super... and in the pillows too. Oh yeah. So it's like, I think it's sheets, three pillows, pillows, yeah. Sheets, like, you know, just a normal sheet set, like the fitted sheet and the top sheet and then cases for the pillows. We'll put links down below for, for all more, more of those details. We love but them. It really is great. Like we I sleep really good. I was kind of worried about like having it in the studio. It was, you know, we're not going to sleep out here right. very often, but our bed, when you get used to a bed, for 12 you years. You literally run your divots <laughs> in your bed yeah. and then getting the new one, you were just not sure how you'd sleep in but it. But the fact that they do the full, they do like a mm. lifetime warranty. You can they do send a, it a, back in a year. Yeah, a full like year. Like if you sleep on it for a year and you don't love it, you send it back. If you don't even send it back, they come and pick it up if you don't right. like it. Like that's it's a right. free return. They come, they schedule someone to pick it up so you don't have to deal with that. I just liked working with them. And They're I think that matters right. because you can swipe up on any link now you don't really know the quality of the company that you're ordering from and i have liked every step of the way when we were customers with them and now partnering with them uh we've done videos about the shiplap and the flooring we love the flooring that's a whole nother conversation and it's gonna go in the loft too but obviously you can see this is like where all the storage goes to live and we'll organize it eventually, but it's not a priority. It's our attic. We call it the attic. It's, we do call it the attic. It's not, it's not always going to be like this and that's okay. Um, but we're also going to steal this, um, birch plywood and we'll put a facade here and then there'll be a ladder hook. So the ladder is going to live over on that wall. And then when we need it, we'll just come probably right about here, hook it on and then climb up to get access. I don't think that's ever going to be a living space, but I feel like our life is like that tile puzzle game where you're just always moving things around in the frame to see where things fit best in different seasons. 
Right now, this season is great for that to be storage. It may be someone's living space eventually, um, but it's simple to have the ladder versus creating a structure of stairs like we did in the other house, but I love it in the other house. This is just best to have a ladder in here. Okay, I gave Kelly a pass so that she didn't have to come out here in this muggy, it's just nasty out here. It's been raining a ton in Texas, so she's able to stay in the nice, cool studio. You can see here that we have this little landing spot right there. That is sort of temporary and sort of not. We'll build around there. And the plan for this space is that we'll end up having a wrap around porch. So of course it'll go that way and then it'll come all the way here. The same uh, about four feet that this little landing is will come over here and then it'll wrap around here and probably be a nice six foot or so deck coming out here. All right, I'm gonna put some videos up here if you wanna check those out. This is how we have built this studio. There's highlighted the little playlist for the Shed to Studio. Also check out the links for the Nectar mattress and get that bundle. We love these mattresses.